dog barks and the bee stings. So here we go. Hey, everybody. Hi, Tammy. I see people are watching live already. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Chef AJ, and welcome to Healthy Living Live. My guest today is Kaylin Harwell. She is the creator of the amazing vegan organic skin care line, Kaylin Harwell. Kay Har I can't say your name. Kaylin Harwell. That's a mouthful. Skincare. Welcome back, Kaylin. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Chef? Good, thanks. And tell everybody where you are. I'm here in sunny Tucson, Arizona. Wow. What's the temperature today? It's probably like 78, 80. <laughs> it's oh, beautiful. Wow. Well, let me see what it is in LA. Uh, you got a speed. It's only 73. Lucky. So I love your product and people have been begging me again to give a discount code. And I said, I'm not going to do a code unless I have her talk about the product again. So if you stay till the end, we'll give you an amazing discount code for some of these wonderful products. First, hi, everybody. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Cindy. If you guys have questions for Kaylin Live, well, you can ask them. Hi, Colleen. But one of the things I want to know, first of all, I wrote down some questions, is that um, I, I always have trouble saying this name. You're an S Aesthetician, right? Almost sounds like an anesthesiologist. What yeah. is that? Why did you become that? Because isn't that the reason you were able to create this line because of your, your occupation as that? Yes, it is. Um, I mean, you can you don't have to be an esthetician to create products, but it certainly helps to have that knowledge. Um, I became an esthetician primarily because of skincare problems that I had when I was younger, like, you know, acneic skin. I think a lot of estheticians are, fall into that category. We tend to be very nurturing and also we want to make a difference in our client's skin. So that's how I got involved into skincare. And, and were you, I, I have such trouble with this word, but were you an esthetician at the Canyon Ranch for, for a while? I was, yeah. I started there doing herbal wraps, which is a detoxing treatment where we wrap people in cotton canvas sheets and it soaks out all the toxins and um, you just sweat everything out. And then I, ended, after about four years of doing that, decided to go to aesthetic school. Neat, neat. And so how did you become this aesthetician uh, skincare magician because your products you could eat them I mean I, I will prove it that you can I mean I'm not gonna eat a lot of them because I mean that's not what they're for but they are safe like so many people want products that are not only vegan but that are natural and and that can mean so many things because and that are not tested on animals and yours are all of that right so it's funny because yesterday we made some of the cocoa espresso eye cream and I went home we had you know whenever we're making products and we have leftover on the you know, spatula, we'll wipe it off and we'll use it, the eye cream on the elbows or the legs. And so I had a lot of extra of the eye cream and I had it on my legs. I went home and my dog starts licking me and, you know, realizing that cocoa is not good for dogs. I had to, you know, shoo her away, unfortunately. But um, yes, it, you know, it is important what you put on your skin. Very right, because the skin is the largest organ in the body and it absorbs everything. That's right. Right. So we have a question from Diana. She wants to know, is your skincare good for sensitive skin? Yes, we have a whole line called the peach line, um, which I think I saw you putting that on earlier. Yeah. So before, before we do these live broadcasts, we like to test the technology. So about 15 minutes ago, I was still in my uh, towel and I'm not wearing any makeup today except for some lip gloss to show you that part of the reason for my beautiful skin at almost 60 years old, in addition to my nutrient rich diet, is this product, which is my absolute favorite one, the soft as a peach. I don't know if you know, I guess they can't smell it through the screen, but, but look, mm, you could eat it. So there's a, a cleanser that goes with the peach line, a toner and um, the cream. And also, I just created a mask, but that one hasn't been released yet. The peach uh, mask. So let's see. let's see if my dog likes it. I don't. I do have the cocoa espresso cream, but I don't want her to lick that one. Do you like yeah. this one? She's like, <laughs> no. Maybe you could create a uh, you know <laughs> a flavor for dogs. That's amazing. So looking, uh, Chris is looking for moisturizers without aloe. Yeah, yours don't have aloe, right? They do actually. Most of them do have aloe. But um, I would recommend um, my seasonal serum, or uh, which has rosehip seed oil. Um, we have that one is the fall winter, um, but we have a spring summer as well. That's I don't know if you have that one, Chef, but it has a yellow label. Actually, I think I have one right here. 
I have so many. Let's see. Oh, I have the, I have the cleanser. Yeah, that, yeah. This one's a little bit smaller. I think that's the cleanser you have. This one right. is a serum. has rose hip seed oil. Um, it smells a little bit like uh, jasmine. It's wonderful. And honeysuckle. Nice. Nice. You, Where do you get your inspiration for all these uh, delicious smelling and even tasting products? Oh, it just depends on where I am. I'm working on a desert line and I do a lot of hiking in the desert. Um, I'll go out and uh, source creosote or um, desert lavender. Um, but it's important to me that they not only be effective, non-toxic, obviously not tested on animals, but also smell good. So it's, you know, it's right. part of the ritual. When you're going to sleep at night, you want to put something nice on, on your skin. That smells good. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I, you know, I, as I become more aware, and I thought I was being diligent as a forty-one year ve oh, 41, vegan for forty-one years. There are products people assume because they're vegan, they're not tested on animals, and that's not always true. And just because they're not tested on animals doesn't mean the ingredients are always one hundred percent vegan. That's correct. So yeah. You've got both of those. So Diane wants to know if you would, if, would the sensitive skin line be good for rosacea? Yes, it would. And and with any products, you can always test it on the back of your ear. Um, just because, you know, even if it's something's natural, that doesn't necessarily mean that you won't have some kind of allergic reaction. You can be, you know, allergic to aloe, for example. So I would recommend anything it's questionable if they're not certain to just test it behind their ear, wait 24 hours and see if there's any reaction. Sarah wants to know if you have any unscented products. Um, we have plain jojoba oil. Um, and, you know, we don't add any synthetic uh, fragrances. So when we are adding um, something to make it smell good, it is because of the fact that it's got essential oils or a culinary extract. Um, there are some some products that smell, you know, a little bit less, but nothing that's specifically unscented per se. But, yeah, but even the ones that have a scent, they're beautiful and they're not strong. I mean, they're just they're just nice. I don't consider them like overly fragrant. Like you know, when you put on your peach cream, you can smell it. It smells nice, but people, I don't walk around. People say, "Wow, you smell like a peach," you know. <laughs> They yeah. say you look soft as a peach, but they don't say I smell like a peach. You know, it's interesting because you met, mentioned oil. Um, so I do some work with an organization that uh, it's an acne intervention group, m many young women, and they can't have any oil at all, either ingesting it in their diet or on their skin. And they're always asking, are there any products that would help these people? Do you have any products for people with this unretractable acne that has like no oil whatsoever? Um, or could you create one because there's a large group of people that could use it? I, I will uh, make note of that. <laughs> I'm always creating new products, and so hearing you know feedback from what my clients want is mm -hmm. part of my inspiration as well. Um, but that being said, not all oil, you know, I mean, maybe in their case, yes, but you know, sometimes there are oils that are not going to be clogging to the skin, non comedogenic. Mm -hmm but maybe not in so much in their case. Yeah. I'll find out the parameters of that group and, and then I'll get to you and see, see okay. because they're always, they're, they're, they're always looking for cleansers and everything that you offer, but it's, they have very, very strict guidelines. Diane wants to know if you have sunscreen products for the face. Yes, I do. So the Sun Salvation is really, it's my favorite, favorite product. I think, do you have that one? Yeah. <laughs> I have lots of your products. I've got about 20 bottles right here. This is all I use ever since finding out about it a year ago from a woman that was older than me, Cheryl, who had the most beautiful skin I'd ever seen. And she said it was because of you. And then I've been using your products. It'll be in April. It'll be about a year. Nice. Well, mm -hmm. the Sun Salvation, I just want to say we don't promote it as a sun care product per se. Although the first ingredient is red raspberry seed oil. So that has been known to have an, a natural SPF anywhere between 40 and 60. Um, so it has a really nice raspberry um, aroma as well. It has um, all the oils that are in it have a natural SPF. And you just need like one drop and that will cover your entire face. Um, really? Yeah. And it really I, 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 I use more than that. <laughs> That's why your skin's so but what you eat is important too. You can't expect to just use Kaylin's products and eat the standard American diet. You got to do both. 
That's true. What goes in and what goes on, as a matter of fact. So Sadie wants to know what you think about oil cleansing. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, like oil pulling. Um, I haven't tried it myself or, or, or cleansing with the oil. I'm not sure what she's yeah. talking yeah, about. Maybe if you're still on, maybe be more specific what your question is. Is, is. is there anything that surprised you about creating your own skincare line? Was it was it difficult? Was it fun? Was it what you expected? Is, yeah, well, it's always fun. I love, you know, it's probably like similar to, you know, when you're creating a new recipe. It's, yeah. it's you know, like, oh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that and coming up with a new creation. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, I like this. It's, you make your own smoothie. It's got kale in it. See? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so I think about when I developed the line, I guess I didn't realize how many other indie lines that there are. You know, it's no longer is it the big, you know, Revlon, and Mary Kay. It's so many smaller companies, which is great, especially those that are like minded, you know, mm -hmm. for more of a holistic, non toxic. Have you made sure you got on PETA's list? Because they have a whole list of products, you know, that are cruelty-free and vegan. If you're not, you should really contact them, maybe send them some product and tell them who you are because it's important that vegans know. I always like people that are vegan, especially ethical vegans like myself, to support other vegans, vegans that own companies. And, you know, I do this in every area of my life. Like, if I mean, if my necklace breaks and I have to go to the jeweler and get it fixed, I'll find a vegan jeweler. And there are vegan business directory so you're a vegan you make vegan products so let's support people that are not harming animals and in the in the environment and things like that right no that's a good point oh. go ahead so sadie who said the question about the oil cleansing clarified by saying to wash your face with oil instead of a cleaner yeah um you could use our plain jojoba oil uh to to do that i do recommend following up with a toner um, just because I, I really like my toners also because you'll get a little bit of residue left over from the cleanser. All right. So if somebody's new to the line or just new to cleansing, because until I met you like a year ago, I wasn't doing anything. I, and then you have all these procedures like cleansing and toning and moisturizing and, you know, a person could get confused. So uh, could you kind of streamline it for like like skincare for dummies and then maybe talk about what your routine is because obviously you have beautiful skin as well. Thank you. Um, sure. I, I'd say if they're real basic, you know, just start with a cleanser and then and a moisturizer. I do like toners, but, you know, start slow and, and add a few things in. Um, but what you're leaving on your skin obviously is going to be the most important. So if you're only going to get one product, I would say a moisturizer or, you know, something like the Sun Salvation. Um, but then you could, you know, start with the cleanser and then the toner. I do have a lot of powdered products, so you can customize them, which is really unique, I think, um, because your skin is always evolving from day to day to month to month, season to season. So, you know, with each um, change of the weather, you can, you can create something totally unique just with the powdered product. You could add green tea. I like to use the uh, vegan yogurt. Um, so you can really kind of customize and cater to your skin's needs. Like with one product, you can get, you know, 10 different variations of that one product because it's a powder. Cool. I I like them. I'm, I'm the opposite. The powders are, always seem to be more difficult for me to work with, you know? They're, they're not for everybody. So, you know, some people like, like that, you know, like, ooh, what can I create? But, you know, and some people want to keep it really basic, cleanse, toned, moisturized. Right. Now, this, this one won an award, and it says it's a decolette serum. What's the decolette, and what, what's the difference between, like, a serum and not a serum? Right. So the decollete is this area here. It's like your, your it's a fancy way of saying oh, chest. Like, this is my de decollete. I called it a decollete. See, I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know because I haven't been putting it there. I've been putting it on my face. So you want me to put it here on my decollete. Yeah, you can put it on, on your face as well. Um, it oh, does. You mean it's only for this? I've been using it completely wrong. No, no, I mean, you're not. You're not. You can't really go wrong. So you can use it on this area and on your face. So. Um, but so if I started of, using it where it's supposed to use it, would it help this this 
thing that I started to get after I lost weight, the, I always call it the Ronald Reagan thing, but thank God my mind's not as bad. Will it really help that thing, whatever that is called? It will, like, yeah. Like, well, okay. tight, you'll actually feel a little bit of tightening with that that product. Oh, so I wish you had told me this because I've been using it as a face cream. So now <laughs> I just start using it where it's supposed to go. So what about this? I don't want to get Botox. I don't want to get Restylane because I'm afraid of needles. It's really expensive and you have to keep doing it. But having squinted my entire life, I have these lines now um, and I don't like them. Can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have the Coco Espresso eye cream. Um, that is really good for, in particular, dark circles. I'm working wow. on eye balm as well. So they, they, that one has um, hyaluronic acid. And it has caffeine powder, so it's going to help with, you know, the circulation. Smells good. It does. And this one, you want to eat this eye cream. So I have been using it, but maybe not religiously. I don't seem to have dark circles, but I still have those. You know, people would call them smile lines, I guess. And they're, and they're beautiful, so I wouldn't change them. Yeah. <laughs> so Angela says, I see a lot of products you have to mix with other stuff. Really? Because I don't notice that. I notice that they're all mine have pumps pretty much. It, it really depends. Like I said, it's, it depends on how in depth you want to go. There's certainly something for, for someone like you who wants to keep it really basic with a pump. I'm going to put this on my decollete now, now that I know where it's supposed to go. But if you want to mm. get more in depth and you want to, you know, I've got about 11 different powders. So you can, some of the powders are boosters and you can add them to your cleanser. If you want to like an exfoliating cleanser. Um, you can do that, or you can make a mask, or you can use them as exfoliants. So you've got, for one product, you've got a lot of different options of uses. So Sonia wants to know, how, how do you make your products not, in quotes, go off if they are so food-like? Go off, uh, meaning go bad? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing, maybe spoil. Yeah, well, if anybody tells you that, you know, if they if they have water in their product, there has to be some sort of preservative because you don't want mold or bacteria, yeast, you know, in your in your products. Um, my powdered ingredients, because those are dehydrated and there's no water involved, you don't actually need a preservative in, in those. Um, with the liquid ingredients, you do, and we use um, a small amount of organic grain alcohol and also some essential oils. So there's a misconception about, there are some alcohols that are, are bad for you, like rubbing alcohol. When I was a teenager and breaking out, before I was an esthetician and knew any better, I was you know, using that on my skin, can you imagine? But right. luckily, um, you know, there are some that are, do not have the petrochemicals in them. Wow. So Silva just asked what you recommend for the neck for tightening. We just talked about this. This is what I just put on. It's called the Uplifting Citrus Face Neck and Decollete Serum, and it won an award. So that's what we recommend. That, that. one has a really mild um, aroma. That one's not a super no, strong it, aroma. I didn't, I didn't smell it at all, actually. Yeah. So Maya says, what's best for morning puffy eyes? For morning puffy eyes would would be the Coco Espresso eye cream. Yeah. Sorry. How many times a day do you recommend using that? You can use it twice, um, once in the morning and once before bed. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you could just, I'm getting your chin cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And I heard you're supposed to use this finger to put eye cream on. Is that true? Yeah. That or your pinky, but usually your okay. ring finger, just so you're not. Creating more wrinkles. Right. Mm. And, and somebody said, somebody said there's one less tendon in this finger, and that's why you're supposed to use. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. You need as much pressure. Um, also, yeah. for your puffy eyes, you can get one of those um, eye masks, you know, that you stick in the freezer, and then just put that on as well. That'll help with some puffiness. Right. Or don't go out drinking the night before. <laughs> just mm -hmm. kidding. I know Myra's not doing that. Colleen wants to know uh, the best way to exfoliate. Do you have a product? or scrub for that? I do, I have several. Um, I have a chai exfoliant, which is really nice. It smells just like chai tea. It's got all those essential oils that you would find in chai tea. Um, and little exfoliating jojoba beads. Um, there's also the super fruits, which is a really nice one. Um, that has acai, it has grape, it has pomegranate, 
has almonds. So they're all superfoods. And you can mix wow. out. What's your best selling? What's your best selling product? Your most popular one, and are they one and the same? Hmm. Um, probably the soft as a peach. And yeah, yeah, probably. That's for my <laughs> you have a men's line too, don't you? You have products for men, right? I have um, products that are for men. I actually right now we have um, the cooling, calming follicle serum, and and we're running. A, we have we have quite a few of these, so we're we're trying. Uh, we have a little overstock sale going on, so these are nine dollars off. So I believe they're only twenty dollars. Wow. And so the they should get them now, and then they can have them for Father's Day. Yeah, absolutely. And so the code on that one is um, O S M A R. And, and that, that will give them the $9 discount on this product. Yeah. Cool. Kimberly wants to know if you have any type of mineral oils in your product. No mineral oils. Cool. I'm no guessing that's <laughs> yeah, very, very, very cool. Did you ever uh, have any ideas or flavors that just didn't fly off the shelf or that like bombed that just that you thought, Oh, this would be such a great idea. You know, German chocolate cake, uh, skin cream and <laughs> not, didn't work. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Oh. You know, I mean, we sell to a lot of different types of, um, facilities. So it might be a spa. It might be a, a natural grocery market. Um, I have my skincare school here in town, which sells all of my products. Um, so it just depends on, on, you know where the products are sold so some things might be do better at a natural market versus at the school or a spa wow so it, colleen says does it smell like a peach yes it smells exactly like a peach and i think there's even peaches in here right i, I can't read the label it's too small it's, mm. it's a culinary extract so it is something that you could actually eat <laughs> this one I love. This one and the cocoa one smells absolutely amazing. Uh, amazing. So is, I put your website right, I don't know if you can see it, but right under where we're talking, www.kaelenkaelenharwell.com. So that's where people can get your products, but there's no real brick and mortar store, at least not in Los Angeles yet, where we can walk in and get it, right? It, um, there... There's a one store that was carrying my line. They may have discontinued. It's a very competitive market, but Erwan Market. Oh, um, yeah, that's yeah. me. Nice. I'll have to check that out. So, tell us about your skincare routine and what's your go-to product. Well, um, normally I cleanse with the Refining Roman Chamomile Cleanser, um, but you know I, I mix it up. So I kind of just yeah, I don't necessarily go with oh my skin is this type because a lot of my cleansers are all of my cleansers are aloe based except for the jojoba oil um, so I will I will mix it up from time to time um, and about once or twice a week I'll exfoliate and sometimes I'll add like the carrot scrub um, to my cleanser just as a little added boost for an exfoliation um, on occasion I'll use the chai exfoliating um, exfoliator which is really nice too that I mentioned previously um, but always toning toning is such a, a big part of I, I, mean, just, I don't get toning I mean I do it because you told me to but all you're doing is like spraying something on your face how is that doing anything well I actually when I'm using it I, I do use it as a spritz especially here in Arizona like my peppermint toner when it's hot out I'm just constantly spritzing myself but so you're saying Tone yourself even after cleansing. Like if I wanted to, I don't know. Let me find one of your toners right now. I'll, uh, I, I, don't, I need better. I need to really start wearing glasses. Ah, uh, purifying orange basil toner. So mm -hmm. I could do this right now. Mm -hmm. Just close your eyes. And how, and, and how far away from my face? About that. That looks good. How many sprays? Just like one or two. Just make sure. I did five. Oh, that's not so. You really can do it like in the middle of the day, like this. I thought you had to do it like immediately after cleansing. Oh, I know. When I'm nice. using, isn't that nice? And you and it'll set your makeup as well. And really, oh, that's a that's a good to see. I learned so much from you. That's amazing. But when I didn't I'm think you were doing anything, yeah. When I'm using it to actually cleanse as a second step of cleansing, what I'll do is I'll I'll use my cotton round and I'll wet my cotton round, squeeze it out, and then spray the toner on there because inevitably you'll get a little bit of 
residue from your makeup or just whatever. It feels nice. So Diana says your skin is amazing. She's jealous. Well, you can have her skin by using her skincare line. Myra wants to know if your products do better if they're kept in the fridge. On some of the products, it's... I do like to use the eye cream, for example, and my mask because for one, you know, they will last a little bit longer and they feel good going on. Um, we have a cooling, calming calendula mask, which is a mask that you do not have to mix with anything. You can just put it directly on your skin. So it's really calming. Um, but I also like to, one of my um, graduates actually came up with mixing that mask with some of my powder masks, and that was just brilliant to me. Um, is that it? I can't tell if that's it or not. That's the yes. green. Yeah, yeah, that's the yep. I like this because I love your pump delivery system because you, you don't waste when you have a pump. It's nice. And then you're not spreading bacteria to, you know, by putting your hands in there. I know. I love it. <laughs> working on it actually it may be a pump for the eye cream too because you do want to make sure when you're using your eye cream that you're either using a spatula or you know if it's if it's only for you you can use um, your hand but make sure your hands are clean because you don't want to be putting bacteria wow. into your products that's cool so Nomi wants to know what your juicy fruits toner smell like that one has a combination of the peach, so that is in the peach ritual, um, but it also has mandarin. Mm, nice, nice. Colleen says she wished we had smell-o-vision. Me too, especially when I cook. Red wants to know if you take CQ10. I don't know what that is. I don't take it, but I don't know what it is anyway. Do you take CQ10? Maybe it's CoQ10 in here. CoQ10. No, I don't, I don't take it internally. Um, I do a little bit of biotin, and um, I don't do a whole lot. I, mean, I try to get you know most of my nutrition from fresh vegetables and fruit. Good. Do you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables? I do. Yeah. So are you a healthy vegan or a junk food vegan, or oh, somewhere uh, in between? Mostly healthy, but on occasion I'll, <laughs> I'll have a little junk. Food. <laughs> Good for you. Let's see if there's any more questions. Araceli says. She always wanted to try your line. Well, here's your chance because we're going to, at the end of this broadcast, give you a nice discount code. And Kaylin's going to talk about it. She says we both have gorgeous skin. And that's because we both use Kaylin Harwell Skincare. And she also sells, I have learned so many lines claim to be clean, toxin free, and they are far from that. Be your own advocate. Check any product you put on the body on the app. Uh, Think Dirty or EWG. That's true because so many things, whether it's skincare or makeup or even uh, food that you buy in the store, will say natural. And that doesn't mean it is. Right. We just got yeah. Make Safe certified, which I, I really love this organization um, because they're looking at all of the factors, like what you put on your skin. Once you w wash it off and it goes down the drain, how is it going to affect the ecosystem? Um, so we'll continue to get products um Certified. I think we have uh, 23 right now, and as my line grows, we'll continue to add to that. So she's right; it's very important. Yeah. Beth wants to know if we use sunscreen, and we talked about that. So please watch from the beginning of the broadcast. We talked about this product that has uh, raspberry oil that, uh, or raspberry. I forget what you said. Raspberry something or other. So uh, to add to that, I think. I think I mentioned that last time that um, I am still in the process of working on more of a sun block um, mm -hmm. so that will have titanium and zinc non nano but that will be something that you would want to use if you were going out to the beach and long term but for everyday use the sun salvation is is really nice but of course you know it's it's a little pricey but like I said you only need a couple drops but you don't need a lot of your product. I mean, your products last so long. I mean, I've only had to reorder one thing once. That's how long they last. You know, I actually do have the peppermint toner. And now that you gave me that, that the, the tip that you can actually use it over makeup as a setting, this is the one I'm going to use because th this is amazing. You know, there's an actress named Susan Lucci who I believe is either 70 or in her 70s now. And I used to love her growing up on All My Children. She played Erica Kane. And I think she's absolutely gorgeous and has beautiful skin. And I saw her being interviewed and she said one of her secrets is that she always cleans her face at night and takes her makeup off. Um, I don't wear makeup off and usually just when I'm speaking, but I'm going to be honest. I sometimes go to bed without washing my face or taking my makeup off. How bad is that? 
It's pretty bad. What? I said you're what? lucky you have good genetics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wish you would make one of those cloths that I could just like, you know, when I'm tired and just you know yeah, I'll work on that for you. <laughs> okay. Amanda says, Do you recommend specifically any of your products to help with rosacea? Anything uh, like the cooling, calming calendula um, mask would be good. And then anything in that peach line, um, which would be the Juicy Fruits Toner, the uh, Soft as a Peach Cream, and uh, the Peach Cleanser. So all of those are good for. And then the jojoba oil is just a great, you know, no fragrance. Um, nothing oh, some that. of them are called serums. So, wait, like, which which is this one? Like, uh, no, I know the difference between a cleanser and a toner. Cleanser cleans, toner tones, moisturizer moisturizes. But some of them, like follicles, was it, is it called follicle serum? Where did I just put it? I wanted to ask you what that was. Oh, cooling, calming follicle serum. So how is a serum different than a, a moisturizer, a toner, and a cleanser? They tend to have smaller molecules. Um, that one in particular is good for, for after shaving or waxing. It's unisex, so it could be used for men, um, but you could also use it as, as well. Really? So, I mean, but when you, I mean, would you put it on the places you shave, even if it's not your face? Be cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Didn't know. Okay. Marie just joined us and said, what do you recommend for mature skin? She's 58 and now experiencing more dry skin. What is the best product from your line to start with? Um, again, it's going to depend on how in-depth she wants to go. We have a little um, graceful aging trial kit, which is wonderful. Um, they're powders, so there's three different um, choices here. <laughs> um, but for moisturizing, we have uh, Essential Day and Night Cream, which is really nice. It's got the astaxanthin yeah, in it. I like that. I like that yeah. one. I have that too. I just didn't bring it out. Good. That and one, Sharon, I think we talked. Go ahead. I was going to say, Sharon McRae, who's very, very picky about everything that goes on her skin, on her family's skin, and in her mouth, loves your products. Oh. And she is the most picky person I've ever met with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. So you're saying to start out with that powdered grazing, grazing graceful aging kit might be a good place. If she doesn't mind the mixing. But if, mm -hmm. if she wants it real basic, you could do the Refining Room and Chamomile Cleanser. Um, we have a Cedar Geranium Toner. That's regenerating. Um, helps with cell, cell renewal. Um, we, we do have the Toner Trial Set, too, which is really nice. This will give you a little sample of all of them. Um, and then they're great. Like the Peppermint one is right here. Um, you can throw that in your purse. You know, you can use your larger bottle and um, just have that with you when you travel or throughout the day. Wow, terrific. Maria wants to know if you have any products to remove makeup in the shower. None, name brands are promoting such, but don't trust them to remove the makeup while showering. She well, does that to say. The, the one thing I would, I would say is, um, I probably wouldn't use my products in the shower because they're in glass bottles. So I wouldn't want somebody to, you know, if they were going to use it, they'd need to pump it out into something plastic so it doesn't break and they get injured. Um, so I have, I do have some products that can be used in the shower that are actually in plastic for that very reason, but they're for the body. Um, so yeah. any of my products could be used in the shower, but that I just caution you with the, with the glass. Wow. Well, I, I've never actually, I'm going to be honest, I mean, I, face makeup is a little different. I've never actually used a product to try to take off eye makeup. Would it have if I have used it that way, you think? You can, yes. Now, the citrus, because it's citrus, you might want to be a little cautious because, you know, being around the eyes. But I, I, I use it on my eyes all the time. I don't have any issues, but we do nice. on the label say, you know, avoid the eye area just as a precaution. All right. Both Beth and Mary are asking if you sell makeup, and I don't believe you do yet, but that would be a natural um, progression for you to do that, I think, at some point. No, absolutely. Not yet, but I'll let you know when I do. <laughs> so I don't see you at the VegFest. How come you don't have a booth at, like, every VegFest? You know, we have a conference coming up in Vegas on Labor Day, and Vegas is not that far from Tucson. You should come and just have a little booth. Uh, well, we're doing you – know, um, 
Veg Out in Scottsdale. And that's coming up over St. Patty's Day, I think the 16th and 17th. So we will be there in Scottsdale. Um, I do have a lot going on right now. In addition to my school, I'm opening a spa um, here in Tucson. There's a You're new- You're kidding, what, like a day spa or a sleepover spa? Yeah, it's gonna be Kaylin Harwell Organic Day Spa. And wow. it's the new hotel in downtown Tucson. It's a beautiful new hotel. There hasn't been a new hotel in over 50 years in Tucson. So it's kind of That's a big- incredible. In downtown Tucson. <laughs> um, so yes. our downtown is booming and, and we're super excited to be part of that. Well, Valerie and others are saying, please have a, a, a table at our conference. You think you might be available Labor Day weekend to come to the conference? You, you can come as my guest and then and sell your products. Absolutely. Yes. That would be amazing. Thank you, Valerie. I don't know why I didn't think of it until just now. And you're not that far. Vegas is like one state over, right? Yeah, it's not far. It's about a seven-hour drive. Oh, but you could you could fly Southwest, baby, miles. You know. <laughs> so, what's your uh, what's next on your agenda other than the spa? Are you got you have anything in the works that you're creating? Or? Well, I've got a creosote serum, so that I'm I'm re really excited about that. If you've ever been to the Sonoran Desert and you've been here, especially in the monsoon season when it rains, you'll you'll there's a distinct aroma, and that's from the creosote bush. And that's one of the oldest living plants and it's endured, you know, any kind of weather and it's just survived. So it's going to help with our skin as well. Nice. Nice. So do you think we have different needs depending on where we live? Because you live in the desert. I live in the city. Other people, you know, live in cold climates. Some people live in, you know, does it, does it, do you have like, like can, is it, if they go to your website, how do they know what to get? Or is it sort of like all of them work for everybody? But we don't have it per, uh, you know, geographic re region, but we definitely have it for concerns and, and different types, you know, cleansers, toners, moisturizers. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm from Virginia originally. And as soon as I, you know, my hair and my skin is totally different there than it is here in the desert. So oh my God, tell me about it. Like when I go to Georgia or the South, I have, I have really curly hair, so I keep it short and I, I flat iron it, but I go to Georgia, doesn't matter. It <laughs> curls up. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, Randy wants to know if you use light stim with your products. Not sure what that is. I, I do use some LED um, at the school. We have a, an LED machine. I think that's mm -hmm. what you're referring to. So Very LED cool. is a modality. It's light emitting diodes and it works with different wavelengths. Like there's an infrared. Um, it helps with collagen pr production. There's also a blue light that can help with acne. So there's definitely, you know, I'm all about you know, intertwining the technology as well as non-toxic skincare. Mm -hmm. Maria wants to know what would be the most, what would be the must have products for summer, like easy two or three step to keep the skin nourished as opposed to for the winter. So again, I'm gonna go back to um, the essential day and night and the sun salvation. For the body, we have a, a turmeric scrub, which is really nice um, and gives you a little bit of that golden glow um, from the turmeric. It has a really nice uh, grapefruit and lime aroma I to it. Love yeah. All right. I'll That's so cool. <laughs> well, as, a, as somebody with beautiful skin yourself that I assume follows mostly a health promoting diet mm -hmm. and somebody who's a professional, I can't say that word, it's an aesthetic. Why is that word so hard for me? Esthetician. How do you feel about things like smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol? Uh, is, and we know they're not healthy, but as far as the damage they do to your skin, because we have some people, uh, even in my Ultimate Weight Loss program, that still continue to smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol, and they, they are not things that make you more beautiful in my experience. No, no. I mean, yeah, smoking in particular is you know, really bad for your skin. Um, I worked with a lot of clients at Canyon Ranch that were trying to quit smoking. And there's a few things that you can do because it's such a habitual, you know, you, you smoke your cigarette with your coffee or, you know, when you get up or so having, you know, shifting that routine, getting a, a clove, uh, um, not a clove cigarette, but like a, um, a cinnamon stick, something like that. So you have something to, you know, satisfy that, that, 
oral, oral fixation, um, or when you get the urge, maybe using a hanky that has some nice smelling essential oils on it. That, you know, so you kind of shift that habit to something that's more healthy. And, and as far as Sorry. Is the damage done to the skin, you know, I guess they call it free radicals or whatever. Is the damage that's done to the skin by smoking, is that is it irreparable? I mean, it, it, it can be repaired. It's just like any organ you're going to re regenerate. So your skin is your largest organ. So you're going to, once you stop and, you know, you can certainly do some things that will help, but the he is stopping, I guess. <laughs> As alcohol and sugar, good for the skin or bad for the skin? Not, not good. <laughs> you know, I mean, alcohol maybe in small moderations should be okay, but it can be very dehydrating, um, especially you know if you're drinking a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Sugar, same thing. You know, not not good, but <laughs> dairy products too. The people that eat dairy are always the one that seem to suffer the most with the acne. At least the teenagers that I've worked with. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. So um, we're going to have a, a giveaway, actually, guys. And she is going to, Kaylin is going to generously give away her uplifting neck. Why can't I say any of your words? Like you're a doctor. Declate serum. This stuff is awesome. I've been using it incorrectly. Now I know I'm supposed to use it on my little chicken turkey neck thing right here. But the way to be eligible to win, and the person is going to be chosen at random, you have to do two things. You have to go to her Facebook page. What is your Facebook page? Just your name? It's Kaylin Harwell Organic Skincare Products, I believe. <laughs> okay. And you have to like it, and you have to put in the feed what product either is your favorite already, if you're a current user, or which one are you most interested in trying if you've never used it. Because she can't, if you just like her page but don't say anything, she won't be able to choose you. And you also have to go follow her on Instagram and do the same thing. And she's gonna choose, I think, a winner from each of those social media venues. But you must not just like her and follow her, but you must actually say something so she has your name. And what you will say is, my favorite Kaylin Harwell product is this. And if you're a new user, the one I'm most interested in trying is this. So Colleen's saying, yay, a giveaway. So very cool. So, okay, this is the moment everyone's been waiting for, and I'm gonna type it in. What is the discount code for the people if they want to purchase some of your products at your website. It's Chef AJ, all caps, and then exclamation point at the end. And that's a 20% okay. discount. I'm putting and it on the screen right now. Two weeks. For two weeks. So discount until until my birthday almost, 321. Uh Face the next day. So that's a very nice birthday present she's giving everybody. There it is, guys. Chef AJ, all capitals, my name, exclamation mark, through March 21st. Make sure you, if you don't want to share this broadcast, at least share that code with everybody you know because you guys have been asking for a, dis, a discount code for a really long time. Okay, well, we're almost, to, oh, um, Valerie, where she wants you to comment on her Facebook page would just be I guess where people comment. I can't get on Facebook right now, but I'm sure you're there. Oh, Julie says she's jumping in now. She loves your product. Uh, Maria wants to know, any recommendations for stretch marks and scars? The um, Spring Summer Serum is really good. It has rose hip seed oil, and that's amazing for both of those. Mm -hmm. And Sunset is saying the soft as a peach cream looks amazing. That's the one I would try first. Yeah, but 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 say that comment on her Facebook page, not mine, so that you can be eligible for the uh, the giveaway. So that anything else you want to say, uh, Kaylin? You're just so pretty and so. <gasps> nice. um, I like you to Tucson. Come check out the spa. It'll hopefully be open in a couple months. So we're under construction okay. right now. But so what are you going to do with the spa? Like do face? Are you going to go back to being an esthetician there and do like facials and treatments and things like that? I might do that for, you know, once or twice a week in my busy yeah. schedule. But um, we're going to have a massage. We'll have um, a dry sauna. Um, some other. Uh, we're going to have a really cool power nap table, which I'm wow. super excited about because I don't always sleep having three businesses. Oh, my um, goodness. It should be fun. Yeah. Mary, the best eye cream for 50 plus skin is the best eye cream for any age skin. And that's her award winning 
espresso eye cream, which you can keep in the refrigerator, but don't feed to your pets. Okay, <laughs> that's terrific. What, what's it? Do you what do you like that? Do you like those things that people use in the shower, like exfoliating things? And you know, like I, I was I was at this Korean spa once and was so uncomfortable because they kept brushing my skin and like it just felt weird. Like, do you think that's a good thing to do? You know, I I don't like to have to have a lot of extra supplies. I mean, I usually just use my salt scrub if I'm trying to exfoliate my skin because that also it leaves you with a nice little bit of a oil residue too. So it's hydrating as well, sealing in that moisture as well as exfoliating. Right. You know, it's, I go to Sephora. I take makeup classes, and they always say, "Are you dry, oily, or combination?" And I'm like, "I don't know. You tell me." How do you know? What am I and how do we know? And do we need to use different products based on that? So if you're shiny throughout the day, most likely you're producing a little bit of oil. So you're, you're probably going to be more on the oily side. Um, yeah, or, I'm shiny now, but I think it's because there's a light. I don't think I'm shiny in general. Low right now. Um, but I, you probably have normal skin just looking at you. You have beautiful skin. Um, I think it's normal. Not, it's the only thing about me that is normal, by the way. <laughs> um, most people have combination skin, but as we age, our oil production slows down. So, you know, we tend to get a little more dehydrated as we get older. Yeah. Very cool. So, you, yeah, it's okay to put oil on your skin. We just don't want you guys putting it in your mouth. Um, Nomi's saying she's not able to post on your Facebook page. Do you have more than one? Um. You know, you can also, Kaylin, after this broadcast is over, this will be on my page, and you can also okay. post any comments after that and even put a link. Because, guys, if I go to Facebook now, you'll lose this feed. So we can find that and then put a link. So we've got we've got a little bit of time for the contest. And just to reiterate, if you joined us late, you can listen to this entire broadcast right away on Facebook and in YouTube very soon. This is Kaylin Harwell from Kaylin Harwell Organic Skin Care, and she is offering a 20% discount through March 21st for the next two weeks using my name in all caps with an exclamation mark, no spaces, Chef AJ, exclamation mark for 20% discount. If you're uncertain what to get, just go with my favorite, the soft is the peach. Unless you have a Declute, which I didn't even know I had till today, then you might want to get the award-winning Declute Serum. That sounds kind of French. Or the Espresso Eye Cream. Those are some of her most popular products. Of course, the Kale Mask is a lot of fun because it's made with kale, or it's the Green Smoothie Mask. But I like the mask. I like this mask better because I'm a pump girl. Or is it? It's the cucumber one right here. Here, the soothing calendula. I've been using her products for a year. I have no makeup on today. All you're seeing is the light that's putting light on this broadcast, and I do have lip gloss because I always, I think it's really important to have, like, do you have anything specifically for lips? Because isn't the skin on the lips kind of different than the face? Because I feel like I always have to have either lip gloss or moisturizer on because the, that for me, I don't have dry skin, but that, they will get dry if I don't put something on them. Yeah, you can use the eye cream on your lips as well. It's, you know, similar um, skin type there. And I am working on some lip products as well. Right. Terrific. Um, oh, thank you for your nice comment, uh, Kimberly. So remember, what you put on your skin is important, but what you put in your mouth is going to make a big difference too. So thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Healthy Living Live. I'm Chef AJ. I make healthy, taste delicious. And Kaylin Harwell makes healthy look delicious. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody. Go to her website right now and make sure to follow her on Instagram and Facebook and put in either what your favorite product is or which one you'd like to try. And two lucky winners will win a bottle of her award-winning Decolleté Sans so French Serum. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Kaylin. Uh, so hard to log off. This happens every week when I try to push the